in this video, I'm going to show you how to stop one of the best plays in Madden 23, PA Slot Cross out of Gun Tight. And it's going to require actually very minimal adjustments. We're going to be doing this out of the Dime 146 defense. Now, if you want to learn my entire Dime 146 defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, and you can sign up at the link down in the description. All right, guys, so we're talking about PA slot cross. It's kind of a fun video for me. I got a question from a subscriber um, that wanted to know how to stop this play uh, within the framework of the Dime 146 defense. And so wanted to just do a simple video on teaching you how to slow down this play. This is one of the best plays in the game. I believe Throne was actually one of the first players uh, running this play. Throne actually, in my opinion, is one of the best offensive minds in Madden 20 in Madden uh, for a long time. He's been a great on offense pretty much every year. Uh, he sees the game really, really well. Anyways, without further ado, let's get on the field. So I've got the Baltimore Ravens on defense, uh, their playbook, and we're going to be going over this coverage defense. Now, the only thing you need to do is in your coaching adjustments, you want to turn your zone coverage to match. You just want to do that in general anyway. It just makes zone coverage play better. So we're going to go on the field and go over this play. And... Um, I'm going to come out in DB Sting to Buzz. The reason I want to come out in this play every single time is it gives consistency to my pre-snap look. It also allows um, it also allows for some really good adjustments uh, in terms of you're going to notice that my linebackers are going to come down into the A-gaps, which allows me to then man them up really effectively on different receivers. So we're going to go over this, and I'm just going to audible to the cover two man. And what you're going to see here is we're just going to press our coverage. When we press our coverage, you're going to notice that now we're going to have really good alignment. I think this is one of the things that 146 does significantly better than dollar, is it gives you really good alignment, and you can still actually create a lot of pressure uh, from this look. Now, what I like to do, the only other thing I like to do is to pinch my defensive line. The reason I like to do that is I just think, it, again, it just gives better alignment to these outside edge rushers. And we're just going to use her this blitzy linebacker. And that's pretty much the setup. And um, if you want to shade outside, you can. Uh, but really, you can just run this just like this. And I'm just going to illustrate by putting my guy in a mid-read. And what you'll see here is if I snap this ball, you're going to notice that, by and large, we're able to pretty much slow this entire concept down. Now, again, I'm going to jump into Insta Replay and kind of break down some of the key routes um, that you see on the field. Basically, the first one is this one. And because we have this shaded down uh, man coverage that's already stock built in out of cover to man, you're going to see they're going to play this really, really, really well. As you can see right there, this is a bracketed uh, route very, very well. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is this is often a man beater right here. Uh, to Jalen Waddle. I'm actually going to sub a guy in that has short and elite, but what you'll see is for the most part, this is okay. Chances are that's probably going to be a knockout um, if they try to throw that. Now, again, I want to put somebody on the field that does have uh, a little bit better, a uh, little bit better, uh, you know, beating ability uh, with uh, short and elite, and then we'll have a short out elite on the outside so that way everybody has, everybody in the field has a route running ability, okay? Um, so just so that you can give kind of some clarity to this. So again, we're just pressing the coverage after we audible to cover two man. Uh, this time I'm just going to spy my guy because I just want to show you how the coverage plays. There's really only one route that you really have to worry about in my personal opinion. Um, what I would do is if you know that this is coming, go ahead and shade. Um, go ahead and shade outside if you want to. Uh, but anyway, what you'll see here, again, you see there, able to hang. For the most part, that time we were, he did get a little separation on that right side. That's why I said, you know, if you just shade outside with this, um, after you press, that can be very helpful uh, because what that's going to do is it's going to get these deep uh, zones a little bit more outside. Now, if you know this play is coming, one of the other things I would really recommend is taking the safety and putting him into a middle third. Okay, now we're going to roll the coverage to the position to the situational strength, which is going to be to this right side. So I can now help out with Cooper Cup because now I have safety help over the top. As you can see there, I can help out with Cooper Cup. If they try to throw that, that's bracketed on both sides. It's going to be very difficult to um, be able to attack the defense in that way. So essentially, we're going to play kind of a variation of one cut to a degree um, or one hole because what we're looking for is the first crosser. We don't want to be defending deep down the field. We want to just be basically taking a crosser. So in this example, if I just put that guy in a middle third on the left side, now I'm going to play more so like a hard flat, if you will, um, in terms of just the way that this is going to practically play out because the crosser is going to be coming across. 
And then from there, as long as I have bracket coverage on these corner routes, you're going to see we're going to play really, really, really effective. Now, this left side corner is really not that great. And I do want to go over what some people will do um, to kind of adjust this play a little bit. One of the best adjustments from this play we'll go over in just a second. But again, I want you just to look at this again. Now, my guy bumped, but, but my user wouldn't have bumped him. I was just trying to illustrate. But you see how we have the double coverage on the tight end. Uh, this ag that is super popular, we have double coverage. Now, that guy's not going to bump like that because that's just because my user uh, was in a hard flat. Um, you know, I would just kind of sit in the middle and then go after we've kind of pop, pass that off. If you look over here to the right side, again, you see how we're getting this really nice trail technique with a safety help over top. And then this is this should be double covered because that's where my user is going to be. And then you see here, this is really the only one on one that they have. OK, now uh, what your opponent is going to do is if they know, you know, if they're trying to make this a little better against man is they're going to put this guy on the left side on a slant, um, which is why I put uh, this ability in here. So to illustrate again, I'm just just imagine my user is going to take away that number, that first crosser. Um, and again, we're going to go ahead and shade outside and put that middle third there. Now what you're going to notice is this slant can get some separation, especially if they motion it out. So you'll see right here, I'm going to motion out the slant, snap the ball, and you see everything's covered, and then I can throw that. But as you can see, it's not always there. Um, man coverage is actually, or um, man beating routes are kind of inconsistent this year. I think that's an understatement. So that slant's not always going to be there. But I want to just go over the progression of the play. You're going to see here, again, this right here, because we're putting safety help, he is, he is kind of sometimes getting randomly bumped. That's because I'm shading outside. You don't have to shade outside. If you don't shade outside, he's not going to do that. Um, the main reason I'm shading outside is for this specific route right here. Um, because you see here, like, yes, he beats him. But there's safety help that's coming right out here. So it's going to be a hard window to throw in. And then this is more so I'm going to use with this. Now, what I would normally do is at this point right here, like, let's say that I, I can see that my guy is going to catch up. Then I would un like basically I would release this guy to his man and come back over here and help over the middle. So that's the basic formula. Uh, let me show it to you one more time. So again, we're gonna go to cover two man. This time we're just gonna individually shade Steve Smith outside. You'll notice it'll play a little better um, in terms of how the whole totality of the play is gonna play. Uh, and then again, we're gonna put that middle third uh, from the safety. And I will use her over the middle. So this will be a little bit more accurate representation. I'm just gonna be in a spy. And what you'll see is, you see there, I could go take that, I could go take that crosser, and then as you see, the other two guys are completely bagged. So, to me, that is the best way to stop PA slot cross. It's really just utilize uh, kind of a main coverage with key zones uh, where you need them to be. And then the other thing, um, so again here, I'll just play this out. I'm actually going to just play on defense here for a second. So you see here, I'm just going to use her this guy. And then if they try to throw that, that's double covered. Oftentimes that's going to be lurked because you're putting the middle third there um, to be able to help this out. This is why cover two man is such a good defense. And this is why I think cover two man uh, needs to be ran more. I don't see, a, I think people are trying to blitz too much almost in this year's game, um, in, in my opinion. But but anyways, um, that's the best way, in my opinion, to stop this play. Um, or one of the better defenses for PA slot cross. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of the Dime 146 defense, of ebook uh, join our patreon the link is down in the description it's only ten dollars to sign up so thanks for watching the video and you can sign up for the patreon in the description of the video